I'm in Philadelphia. Step right up. Come one, come all for the original lemon ice cream. Lemon ice cream? This is an 1882 recipe, 1882 recipe found in um, a magazine called Dakota something. So our first step is get a good knife, cut the lemon. We're going to need a half a cup, so I'm going to measure this kind of ad hoc. So and so you said you can make this without an ice cream machine. Correct. So what are the things we need? We need a... Bat, two, um, you need one big um, Ziploc bag, and then you need one Ziploc bag that is smaller. but can fit So basically, you need two plastic bags that can seal one inside the other. Correct. Okay. And then if you don't want to do that, you just need bowls. And even without that, you can do a refrigerator. So right now I'm juicing the lemons. So you can put, let's see, lemon in. Does lemon, seem like lemon would slow down the process of freezing. I don't know. Um, this is my first time trying it. So we will find out, but it works because it exists. So. Okay. Can you explain the recipe real quick? Yeah. So you're gonna need about half a cup of I mean half a cup of lemon juice. Um, you're gonna need um, sugar, ice, rock salt. Do not get iodized. Sea salt will do as well. And you're also going to need um, milk and heavy cream. Some recipes also call for half and half. This does not. So you basically mix all the ingredients as if you're making well, ice cream, and then you put it in one bag. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, and then you put the ice in another and you shake it up and throw it around. That's why they need to be tight. Hold on. And where'd you come across this recipe? I Googled it um, and I got lucky. Um, let's see. There we go. And my measuring cup. Uh-oh. Suppose you can sub for brown sugar. All right. So let's see how much we got here. Can you put it at a different angle so we're not seeing the ceiling? Or <laughs> uh, sure. Let me try to set it up so I can stand. Um. Let me see. I just need to get this loose. Um. Let me sit down because I didn't. Hands up for this. Um, um, okay. So let's. So I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay. In Ecuador, in the highlands mostly, we have something called helado de paila because paila is like a big metal bowl. I think it's traditionally copper bowl, like big round bowl, and you put one, you fill it with ice, and on top of that one, you put another one with heavy cream milk and whatever fruit you want to make the ice cream and then you start stirring so it takes a lot of time but it's really good now the ice do you put salt on the ice i think so but because i have only seen it being made in the highlands i'm not sure if they use ice but yeah i i mean they probably do use ice why do they yeah. use salt it oh. makes the ice melt quicker and therefore lowers the temperature Quicker. faster mm -hmm. so like when i grew up in, in the south we had hand crank and basically it was just a container in the center that spun and then you put ice around it mm -hmm. and salt and then you would crank and it would turn oh, a melting point yeah okay it makes sense you know the the it would turn the container yeah and the friction would cause the ice to melt faster and therefore the outside um would be metal inside of it but st stirred the stuff up and stir correct okay. now uh, one thing if we do a metal bowl with another metal bowl in the center i learned the less you stir it the quicker it freezes but then it's not so creamy Ooh, creamy yeah you know, ours is very creamy yeah so like when you're stirring it the friction of stirring it creates heat but then also when you're stirring it, maybe you're like making it more fluffy. I thought when you stirred it, it made it creamier because it broke down any ice crystals that were forming. Right. I oh, have okay. one 
that scrapes it uh, from the side always and tosses it in the middle. But yeah. it, you can do it with any fruit. I mean, makes great ice cream or so big. Yeah. So I guess Ryan. Yeah, just trying to get the last of the sugar out of here. So you, he's going to, he's trying to do a dual bag method. And something from the Eskimos who did that. Right? <laughs> how, I mean, how I've done it to dual bag is make sure you have a thick plastic bag and you just put the, the milk and your cream and your sugar in one bag. And then you have a bigger bag around the outside with ice and salt and oh. you seal the whole thing and then you just shake it. <laughs> that's how i've seen to do it and Couldn't you put your you could put your bag into your uh, bowl of ice right just oh yeah you could do that you just put a bag into a ice yeah but you know or i mean if you don't mind it not being very creamy you can just literally put the cream in the freezer and let it freeze but then it's like hard it's not I've like that. that it's like but um, so this is going to be a little less sugary than I would have liked. You ran out of sugar? Yeah. But just, I'll make do. just adjust uh, the cream and milk and what not. I mean, left. I don't know. Milk and cream frozen probably tastes pretty good. Well, there's sugar. It's just not quite the amount I need. I'm missing like a half a cup of it. And Oh, did you ever think about of what you, the concoction you made today, the, your cheese concoction, you know, you're playing with, you could play there with ice and make a cream out of that. Too. So my favorite ice cream I ever had was in North Carolina <laughs> and it was goat cheese ice cream. Yes. Oh yeah. With, it had uh, candied nuts in it, like the sugar candied nuts. And then it had um, the ice cream itself was maple flavored. So it was maple flavored goat cheese ice cream with candied nuts in it. And it was absolutely the best ice cream I've ever had. Where was that? What city? No? I don't remember. I just, I bought, oh, there was one other thing it had in there. It had what is it um bacon little bits of bacon in it oh yeah that makes like uh the maple syrup bacon or uh like the the candied bacon uh -huh. so ryan are you ready i could spotlight you and explain uh, what's going almost, on I'm just, I'm just breaking up the ice and adding in the salt and can you put your phone at a better angle so we can see better or no yeah let me do this there you go so so basically you have the cream, sugar and milk, and you said you flavored it with lemon in the little bag. Yeah. And now you're putting ice around it in a big bag and you're putting salt. Is yeah, that a deer? Correct. What's that? Oh, I just saw an ear of an animal and I thought it looked like oh, a yeah, deer that's my dog. ear. <laughs> <laughs> my sister actually has a... Let's get this nice and full. So, now you did say that you can't use regular salt. Why is that? Yeah. Um, I think it's the iodization um, doesn't make it as cold and doesn't give that pure sub zero temperature. The and the only reason you're doing it like this instead of just putting it in the freezer is it gets creamier? Um, I like this method. I can't, I can't stand here and say it's anything but personal taste. I mean, you just like, sh do you shake up the bag or you just let it sit yeah, there like that? I'm just mixing in the salt now. This will get it really, really cool. So how much cream, how much milk, how much sugar? Um, I have the recipe somewhere. Just let me, now you've got to get a lot of salt in here. So I might overdo it, unfortunately, but it's better to be overdo it. How fast does the ice tend to melt? Um, it would be, it's actually going to uh, get colder as we speak and use that quick. Yeah, so I mean, I remember when we did the hand crank, um, we would, because we'd have to keep it cold, 
we'd actually have to hand crank it in the back of the truck while we're driving to church for the ice cream yeah, social. There were older methods where you and so if you let if you stop cranking it, it would start melting. And so we as the kids wanted the ice cream, and so we would take turns cranking it as we were sitting in the back of the truck, really safe driving to the church yep. and we, you know there'd be three or four kids around holding the ice cream thing trying to keep it from falling over while one kid is cranking it so it was really exciting and then you get to church and there'd be like 30 40 different kinds of ice creams you know so and so that's you know that's that's southern style ice cream social we'd have that once a month what what kind of church was it? What kind of Southern Baptist? Southern Baptist, yes, that could be. And I mean, the reason why we had ice cream social, the church was so small. There was one preacher for four churches, so he would only come to our church once what? a month. Yeah, yeah. So we'd have Sunday school, one. We'd have Bible study, one, and we'd have ice cream social, and then we have the preacher. And so it'd like. Yeah, it's not it's you it's not working out how so. I hope in terms of like the bag will not close, so I'm going to switch to the, another method. Too much ice. <laughs> so now he's doing like Fred said. Oh God, no, 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 no. Yep, that, this is how not to do it. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is a little more painful than I would have liked. Um, this is, the bag was loose, so that, that can happen sometimes. I'm just praying there's no actual salt in my ice cream. Well, have you ever had, uh, caramel salt ice cream? So. I'm not. How yeah. Was it? So now, Isha, he's doing the method you said you do in your country, where you put a bowl inside a bowl, because yes. he had too much ice. So it's we get to see like all the different methods. <laughs> yeah, this is only my second time doing this. There you go. So let's mix it around. Let's get it in there. My problem is is I never have ice. So yeah, I bought the ice just for this. It's <laughs> just like at, at this point, I'd give up and I'd just put it in the freezer and let it freeze. I, I'm going to do that if it comes to it, but I'm going to try this <laughs> method first. So, so just like... Really good. And then you you keep huh? keep stirring the, yeah. the ice cream in the bowl. Yep. And then it gets a little creamier. Yeah, it's already starting. I can feel the ice in the bottom. I just had a... Yep, it's good. And one thing you can do is you can move the bowl back and forth just a little bit. And that'll cause the ice to melt faster, too. Yeah, Looks there like is some rock salt in it. So I'm just going to... Uh-oh. <laughs> you don't want salt in it. No, you don't. So I'm going to remove all that. So, yeah. like... But... Hold on. Let me just spoon it out. But I've never made lemon ice cream. No, this is um, this is an old-fashioned recipe. Oh my god, flavor's already in there. I'm worried it's gonna hurt the ice cream a little, but that might also just be lemon. I don't know. I mean, if you do have salt in the ice cream, it will have a hard time freezing. Yeah, I'm removing it right now. But salt in the ice cream. What? He he had Why a couple chunks you... of the the rock salt fell in the ice cream. So, it happens. What was your question? Uh, why don't you put it through a sieve? I don't know if that's the correct word. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, it might be too thick for that. It's 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 already getting pretty thick, and it's freezing. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, I'm just getting out of the big chunks. The big chunks. Yeah, because yeah. this is rock salt, which I think is not good to eat. Well, but I think so. I got all the chunks out because I'm sifting the bottom and it's all right. Okay, great. This will be a, a lot to explain to my housemates. <laughs> Just like the mess all over the table. Just yeah. like I was 
trying to show my friends how to make ice cream. And, you know, I've only done it one other time and I thought it was so awesome that time. So I'm going to try it again. Yeah, I, I did the freezer method um, and it worked, but yeah, it was hard. So, all right. When, when you're done, t tell us how long it took because I remember doing this and it taken a while, but don't put the salt oh, yeah, in the ice cream. <laughs> no, no, don't want that. So. It just needs a little more salt. More salt? Yeah, you need a lot of salt and a lot of ice for this. It causes it to melt faster. Or yeah. And because he took some of it out of the ice cream itself. Yeah. Well, don't take the salt out of the ice cream. Just put it on top of the ice. Yeah. Oh, so. man. My battery's All right. But we just do this for a while. So, like, fade to black, I guess. At, at this point, you should just start eating it. And by the time you get right to the bottom of the bowl, it'll be just perfect. That's what I would start doing. Uh -huh.